My name is Via Selmans, and uh, I was born in Riga, in the country Latvia, and I moved to United States in um, 1948. I didn't really decide to be an artist. I, I, uh, I guess I became an artist, but I never really made a conscious decision at one time to, I was always drawing. It was, it was, I don't know, never really questioned it. Maybe there was a kind of decision because then I did decide to go to art school after high school. And if you would say that that was a decision, it was a decision because it was an art school. I went to John Heron Art Institute in Indianapolis where my family had immigrated to and uh, from Europe and then um, I went on um, to UCLA for a master's in uh, Los Angeles. And I was in LA about 19 years and I, I think I began to do my first uh, maybe mature work that was moving away from uh, say the kind of things we were encouraged to do in school and maybe trying to um, <coughs> face face some things on my own in in uh, the 60s I believe when I was still in graduate school I went to school a long time I don't know whether I recommend it I moved to New York in uh, 1981, and I moved because, um, oh, many reasons. Uh, I thought that I would have more of a, I don't know what I, I, I thought that I would have uh, more of a dialogue or something, or I just wanted to be where I thought that the best painting was being done, um, especially I like the abstract expressionist, all those great artists, you know. And uh, um, I just wanted to be here because of that. There were many other reasons, but the other reason was maybe that I missed weather, uh, which is now, you know, I, and the other kind of evening out, it's so warm, been so warm this winter, but also, um, Mm. I just thought it would be a little more challenging and so I moved to New York and once I moved I just loved it so I mean I didn't find the back and forth with the artists so much but I I liked walking the streets I liked the light which was colder I liked the surfaces on the buildings, I liked the fact that there were so many museums. Well, first I, I, w I was working on one of the pieces when I moved here that I hadn't finished was a series of uh, stones that I had been working on for about five years. So I finished those while I was here and then gradually, yes, I think my work changed. I think it became less um, referenced to nature and maybe a little more conceptual and a little um, maybe a little more severe and a little uh, mm, I don't know a little bit more studio oriented well the drawings were usually very separate I, at one point early on, I decided that I wasn't going to paint because I thought the paint was, um, I don't know, had too much life of its own. I guess I wanted to pin down my own touch, sort of, so I just used a pencil for many years, actually. And then, um, then I moved. I thought, well, this is finally, I realized it was a kind of limitation and um, I um, started doing the paintings actually I believe in the 80s I think some of them are in this show 
and um, I thought that the the paintings came out of the last graphite drawings, which were very, very full. And I thought, well, I can't put any more graphite in this paper. And um, I started doing the paintings. I did some very small tentative sort of paintings. And then um, the paintings tended to uh, want to be kind of mimic the drawings. <laughs> so they. You know, they were very flat and very packed, and I had this desire to pack them even closer as a way of maybe uniting the image with the structure that it was on. And in a way, I kind of pressed all the sensuousness out of the, out of the paint. But still, I think, by painting the painting over and over and over, there's a I began to get a kind of feeling of depth that I couldn't get with the graphite. And even though the paintings are not paintings that invite you in and show any kind of strokes or so forth, I think they have, when you really look at them, quite a sensuous kind of quality that is mostly arrived at by painting the same image over and over and sort of building it so that it gets uh, kind of, um, I think before I used to say it gets sort of fat, like a fat image, you know, an image that's packed full of um, kind of um, uh, attention maybe.